Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, I went to Walmart, and I found two of the um, dance, dance, dance dolls. Um, as I have replied to you guys in comments, I was waiting for them to hit stores. And as of right now, I currently have Virtuelle and B-Girl. I think I'm going to wait on Miss Royale and maybe... Um, what the hell is her name? Major Lady, because I just... I'd rather get them on sale. So in this video, we're going to be reviewing Virtuelle by your guys' request because she won the Unbox First poll. So, get ready for her, I guess. But first, I have to move my brats out of the way because I still don't have my shelf up. It's gonna go up here. We're gonna get rid of that stupid picture. It's gonna be cool. And now, without further ado, let us take a look at Virtuelle. So this line is more of a budget line, similar to the Lights line, which was released last year. Um, you can tell because the box is smaller than it typically would be. Here's another box for comparison. It's not a huge size difference, but, you know. I actually really like the way this box looks. It's really cute, and I love all the colors all around. And on the side, we've got pictures of everyone, including Miss Royale, Major Lady, B-Girl, and of course, Virtuelle. And they're all different channels. We got five, six, seven, and eight. It's funny. It's almost like this line is supposed to be a continuation of lights or something. On the back, we've got a guide of what to watch my shows. There is OMG, we are sisters ready to... Oh my god. Oh, this is... Oh... That was a bad scream, by the way. I didn't. I don't enjoy reading this. <laughs> so there's a plug and some things to make it look like an actual electronic device, and I think it's really cool. I definitely dig the stylized packaging, and oh my god. Oh, this is so nice! I think Virtuelle's box has one. I'm probably gonna keep hers. I love it. If you guys don't know, I usually keep one box per wave. So, now that we've looked at her entire box, it's time to open. I fell in your arms tonight And I fell hard in your arms tonight It was nice I fell in your arms tonight I fell in your I'm getting distracted. You know what? I usually try to do this thing where I just... Sometimes I try to open the boxes properly, but most of the time I can't, so I just... Unleash your animalistic urges and cut into the bitch. Made me so distracted, I forget the words to a song I've been listening to on repeat for several days on end. I'm pulling on it. Nothing's... What do I do from here? Maybe now the box will open. Let's try it. I am so smart. I'm a genius. Look at how fast I figured that out. Not like it takes kids' channels like two seconds or something. I still can't get over the fact that they chose such a non-visible brow color. But I got a good face, and that's what I care about. And it's a very good thing that I did because my dad threw out the receipt. So here is Virtuelle in her box. Because this is a budget line, we only get one thing that she doesn't already come wearing, which will be her jacket. And we only get a hat box because she's already wearing her shoes as well. While I do think that this is a little less fun in terms of the unboxing experience, I don't really mind it. Like, less work for me, I guess. But also, it's not as much... Come on. Come here. She's robot grooving fashion glow. Now get, come here. Oh, there's a thing down here. I'm stupid. Okay. And there we go. Oh, this one opens too. Okay, it's just a robot dance. I was so worried it was going to be a TikTok dance. <laughs> She's got a little dance. <coughs> that just smells weird. What does it smell? Wait, it smells like medicine. Why do my dolls always smell weird? What? I just buy them at Walmart. Now let's 
Oh! Oh, that's so cool! The background, it looks like a Daft Punk... Daft Punk... Punk Daft... Uh, it looks like a, we a webtoon that I've been reading lately called Prince of um, Southland. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. It only has like three chapters. Yeah, and look at all the artworks. I guess this is where we get to see their full legs. That's cool. Major Lady would be so much better if they just didn't give her those boots. But look at that! I think this is definitely the box I want to keep. Though I also like Miss Royale's with the WAP music video as the background. I may not like Cardi B, but the WAP background is so funny to me. One thing I'm noticing is that these braids are not anywhere near soft. Like, even when Swag's hair came all braided up like this, it still felt soft, but here it feels really coarse and hard. I didn't actually know that she had light pink braided in as well. That's pretty cool. I mean, maybe it's the fact that these are... Oh, these are twists, and only the ones with the light pink in them are braids. Huh. And also there's this loop in her hair, and I don't... I don't know what to do. If I pull on it, I might pull it out, and I don't want to do that. I think this might be the same skin tone as Felicia and Crystal. I obviously don't have a Felicia to compare, but I do have Crystal, so we're gonna compare that after I get her out of the box because, you know, I wanna at least free her first before we start comparing anything. She's almost free, guys. Now I just gotta grab her head and use my Hulk brute strength and... Oh, no. Forgot to cut the thing around her body. My virtual scalp is a little whack. Like, there's this one thing here that's just all bunched up and ruined. I don't know what happened there. And then there's one hair that's very long. It was the one that was looped that I showed you guys earlier. I tugged on it, and it popped out of one of the two things it was rooted into. So, it's minor, though. Like, you can't see it from the front, so it doesn't really matter. But from the front, you can see that her eyebrows are barely visible. I really wish they just made them pink. Purple eyebrows was not the best decision that they could have made. I don't know what to do about this big long braid, so I'm probably gonna do something stupid here and just snip. Um, snip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel so guilty doing that. I don't like cutting my doll's hair, but that one was just way too long. All right, let's get her stuff out so she's not laying on the floor for too long because, you know. Wouldn't want dolls on the floor. Once again, they included extra things and apparently these are for like, this one could be for boys, but it could also be for like, if the girl has very thick clothing and it doesn't really go over very well. So these are basically just like, depending on what you need, like, I don't know what this little tiny one is for though. I heard that they're gonna make like teenage, like teenagers, tweens kind of. I don't know if these are teenagers or adults, but basically they're gonna start making tweens and they're gonna be called BTW. It's gonna replace JK because JK flopped, but I'm kind of hoping the tweens flop too because it doesn't sound good. No, these are actually the same size, just about. There's little to no difference between them. I guess it's just a spare in case one breaks. That means I put the boy one on here by mistake. <laughs> I am not with it today. There we go. Within the thing was, of course, her jacket, and I was surprised to see no fake boobs, but it was flipped around, so. Fake boobs. So excited. Irrationally excited. Irrationally, um, enthused? I don't know why she has this. It's not like you can brush this. It's a bunch of little braids and twists. All right, listen, I'm just thinking out loud here, but I think something that should be normalized in the toy industry, especially with dolls that are articulated and have removable hands, it should be like normal for dolls to come with like a spare hand, a spare set of hands or something. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. And then people like scalp on replacement parts, which is ridiculous. So like, say I removed her hand safely, but like, say you don't, and then you're just kind of screwed cause the doll is a unique hand, like a unique skin, tone, unique skin, like, nails or something. Because especially with the OMGs, who always have, like, unique nail colors most of the time. Like, what do you do when you break one, other than, like, email MGA? But what if it breaks, like, down the line? I just feel like it would be better if they included some spare hands or something, just in case. Because, like, kids do play roughly, you know? 
So, I don't know. I just think that would be a good idea. A surprise that has never become a thing. So fresh out of the box, she definitely feels like she's missing something. So that means it's time to get her earrings and visor because I think she kind of needs the visor to feel complete. So let's grab everything. Right in here, we have, of course... Oh, yeah. Gotta rip this little shit out. Oh, I forgot that these dolls had black light effects. That's cool. Makes her shit glow. <laughs> I mean her makeup. <laughs> Makes her face makeup glow. I can't just refer to everything as cool shit because it's not like everyone knows what I'm referring to. I was referring to her makeup. Her pixely makeup. Except it's pixelated on purpose, unlike Barbie, who um, I guess does that to save money or something because... <laughs> Why would you put effort in the dolls? All right, I can't lie. I'm kind of struggling to get this on her face. It's like another thing with like bad girl, I guess. The way her glasses were. I have to put it over her hair most likely. Yeah, it does seem to be floating above her ears. So that just brings the issue of where in her braids I'm going to let this rest. So that it doesn't disturb her hair. Or like fall off her face all the time. So... Once I have that figured out, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a little numb. I'm a little not smart. We can't really see her face, so I'm gonna try, um... That did not help. <laughs> you can't see her face in this. I mean, you kind of can. Like, it kind of makes her eyes glow a little, but... At the same time, it's not the best. I kind of was hoping it would be more transparent looking like there. But, um... <laughs> I can't even see her face. So I decided to compromise and put it on her head like this. And honestly, I don't hate it. I think it looks kind of good, actually. So overall, I really do like Virtuelle. I didn't get to comment much on her because I was too busy figuring out like all her other stuff. But her design is actually really good. I love the colors that they used. I wasn't sure how I felt about the green, but I do love it. The only real thing that I don't really like is the fact that they made her eyebrows so, like, the color is just something that you can barely see against her already dark skin tone, I feel like. I definitely think they should have made her eyebrows, like, pink or something, because the purple does feel random considering her hair is two different colors of pink. And now that leaves the last thing we've got to do, which is, sh look at her shoes. They're blue, they're black, they're pink, and they got yellow. Nah, I'm kidding. We gotta do the crystal skin tone comparison. So this is Crystal Bailey from Rainbow High. And next to each other... Um... Yeah, they've got about the same skin tone, actually. Crystal might actually be the slightest bit lighter looking, solely because she's got, like, the shimmer on her face, whereas Virtuelle does not. So yeah. The shimmer kind of makes you look a little ashy, Crystal. Or maybe mine just has something on her face. I've had you on a shelf. What's on your face? But yeah, two queens. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this review. It was fun to make. And in my next video, we're going to be reviewing B-Girl. Because, you know, B. But yeah, hope to see you in my next video. And as always, bye.